And then the posture that got the most love from Philip Beach, he called it the quintessential posture of repose, which is the full squat, the resting squat. These really help. So we use these a lot when we're rehabbing the squat pattern, put the feet on the chuck, like it's a charging dock. So like everything gets decompressed. So we're actually taking that ankle that's been compressed and flattened and we're going through the heel bone. We're gonna lift it up, but we can do this awareness drill on the chuck where we'll actually rock into the heel and then rock out of the heel. So rock into the heel and rock out of the heel. This, you feel what it's like to have all my weight on the chuck. Now I'm just gonna move that weight where my heel is like an eggshell resting on the chuck. It's there, but it's not accepting the pressure. The front part, the meat of the foot, the ribeye is taking the pressure. You can also use the squat as a resting position, right? So you could bring this into your floor desk. You can bring this into hanging out on the phone, eating down here, typing down here, reading down here, but you'll get a lot more time under tension. You'll be able to hang out in this resting position a lot longer with that little bit of elevation in the heel. And so you're kind of learning how to be light in the heels and you're just prepping your squat, inner ankle bone high. So we'll do a lot of resting squat on this. We'll do some, we'll do standing drills on this where people can kind of realign and lift. And this becomes the tool of the second part and the third part of the recode. So these two tools right here, the mat <clears throat> and then the chuck become how we deal with really phase one here on the mat using the map of the 22.5 to kind of help people find out where everything is pointing. And then the next piece is, all right, let's put those collapsed feet on some risers and we'll lift them up and we'll start to work on the double leg and the single leg throughout the process, right? 